My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. The ultimate Trans Am in 1979 was the 10th anniversary, which is what we have sitting here. This one's an outstanding example. 24,000 actual mile survivor car that's in show quality condition. It's a neighbor of mine that has owned this car the last 17 years. I know for a fact this is his hobby. This is his baby. He goes to every car show there is in the area, him and his wife, and they've won so many trophies. It's important to him. He details, he maintains this car himself. He's very proud of this car. You'll be getting one of the best ones available that you can get. As a book full of documentation here that I'll uh, explain in just a little bit. And the car is also a 404 speed. All the 10th anniversary cars come fully loaded. They come with options you can't get on any other Trans Am. So they're all optioned out the same. There's one big difference. If you got the automatic transmission, you got the 403 Oldsmobile low horsepower motor. If you got the four speed, which this one has, you got the Pontiac 400 motor with significantly more horsepower. So the four speed 400 is the car that people want. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs. You can study all the pictures. You can get the price, not only just on this car, but we have a few hundred collector cars and they're all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, all these great cars, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as new ones are posted. For right now, let's go for a spin in this four speed Trans Am. I usually start by telling you about the underneath of the car. It's just very clean, preserved, no rust, no damage. Uh, you know, the motor's clean. Original exhaust system has a catalytic converter. Uh, the VIN number on the four-speed trans matches the car. Uh, it's the original rear end. It's a limited slip rear end that's in there. Uh, it has the chrome exhaust splitters uh, coming out behind the tires there. Uh, so underneath the car is just really nice, clean, well-preserved original. I'm noticing around the wheel well lip right here, it has all the factory dimple spot welds. Those disappear over the years because they get rusted and worked on and bondoed over, but I could see the dimples. It's a super clean, super clean body. And I mean the rubber bumpers, the spoilers, all this stuff is really nice. There's no rust, no door dings. These are big, big giant doors. They get door dings all the time. This thing is straight. I don't see of any issues. He's the type of guy, there's a really premium uh, body shop next door. If there was a nick or a chip, he would take it there and have it fixed professionally. Uh, so the paint on this car is gorgeous. All the body fits super nice. And this is all really nice. A lot of times they're nicked up, you know, and bumped and chipped and touched up with a brush, but it's all beautiful. The grills are real nice. Headlight bezels are real nice. The emblem looks new. All the striping, the bird, all that is just pristine. No rock chips or anything here. It's all beautiful. There is a little, little nick touched up in the paint. You'd have to look for it to find it. It does have a rock chip right here in the windshield. One rock chip. Other than that, it's crystal clear. This glass is crystal clear. A lot of times they get scratches. It's crystal clear. It has the glass mirrored T-tops. They're mint. All the rubber and trim around them is mint. Again, all the stripes, the door handles, the spoiler, all in mint shape. They're called the turbine wheels. They still have the factory clear coat. The center caps are brand new, uh, just immaculate. BF Goodrich tires look like they're new. This fits really nice. This is all really nice. The bumper is not bumped. So super nice exterior. Trunk compartment. I'm not surprised at all. He has a cover within a cover. He has a nice soft cover that goes over it and then another cover over that. So you get two car covers. It has the uh, Fisher T-top bags that the T-tops go in. The collapsible 
uh, spare with the air bottle and then the jack is stowed up underneath there. That's all pristine. Probably never been out of the car. The interiors in these are all silver, like a spaceship. And it's actual leather upholstery. It's one of the things you couldn't get on other Trans Ams. They were vinyl. This is actual leather. And when you turn on the gauges, they light up red. That's also part of the 10th anniversary, along with embroidery on the door panels, a thicker, uh, plusher carpet. And they come loaded. Power antenna, power windows, power locks. All the goodies. This motor compartment is very well detailed and serviced and not the funnest to open. The shaker hood assembly, I mean, it's like pristine. The air cleaner, the stickers, the tubes, the hardware, the rubber seal, that's just pristine. The motor is painted. He gets in there and paints it by hand. There's no overspray on anything. All the vacuum lines, the clips, the hoses, the wires, everything looks like new in that motor compartment. Look how nice the door jams are. The weather strips are mint. Sill plates are shiny. Door panels are pristine. Uh, it has the original floor mats. Uh, the light gray uh, seat belts are excellent. Uh, getting back to here, the decals, the paint, the weather strip, the, the insulated carpeted mat, uh, all like new. Under the mat, it looks like new. It has the leather wrapped formula wheel on a tilt column. Uh, looks like it has intermittent wipers. The instrument panel is pristine. It has the machine turned bezel. I see it has quartz movement in the clock. It has the factory AM FM stereo with an 8-track. The center console is mint. No, no extra speakers drilled. No cigarette burns on the console. Matter of fact, I looked at the ashtray and cigarette lighter. Look like they've never been used. Uh, cadmium plated brake booster. Uh, the chrome valve covers, the alternator looks new, all this duct work. Uh, it's an AC Delco battery bolted in properly. Uh, the air conditioning is updated to 134. Got the overflow bottle. Uh, the air conditioning box is the raw fiberglass like it's supposed to be. Uh, you got black with some of the gray overspray. That's how the factory did it. So it's all preserved and detailed and just pristine motor compartment. Squirters are hooked up. Go over some of this documentation. Also has a power trunk release, which does work. And look how he's got everything neatly uh, displayed in this gray matching uh, folder. There are so many options on these cars that it took two window stickers. It ran over onto a second page, so they're loaded. They found one two build sheets in the car. The original invoice, uh, here's a title and some documents from in the 90s with the mileage on there, about 16,000 in the 90s. Uh, Pontiac Historical Service documented the car. Uh, and then here's the original warranty agreement, the original new vehicle inspection, literature, and then all the stuff that comes in the glove box, all the warranty book, the manuals, it's all there. All the stuff is there. I think that goes over the visor, the books, more literature. So that documentation's there. And I know there's more here. I didn't even get around to opening this one yet. Uh, some more literature, sales like sales brochures, and that will go with the car. So there's some really great stuff in here. Got the door jams are shiny. I'm gonna start it up for you. It runs great. Trunk light works. Knowing Ed, I'm sure you can get in and just drive this anywhere. His cars are dialed in. I'm sure the oil's clean. I'm sure the air works. I'm sure it's ready to go. His rear window defogger. 
the headliners mint usually the t-top cars the wind comes in and it flaps the headliners and they fall down the visors are mint the mirror is crystal clear the dome light works it's got embroidery on the back seat yeah the gauges are lit up red 24,531 actual miles Motor smooth as can be. I've had these cars with as little as nine actual miles. I've had a few that were literally just put away. This one's nicer. The one I had with nine miles, the paint was all crackled. Uh, this thing's, I haven't seen a nicer one. I've seen them with less miles, but I've not seen a nicer one. So there you have it. If you're looking for one of the best 10th anniversaries available, it's right here. Visit volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression, what I think about the car. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They can help you out. They will also help with the delivery, financing, paperwork. They can make all that easy for you. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to that YouTube channel and click on the bell icon, and you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.